Hi, this is David Wildman with Arabesque Music. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to customize your score and set up your workspace in Guitar Pro 7.5. Let's get right into it. A Guitar Pro project is made of several workspaces. In the center, we have the main score. On the top, we have the toolbar with different play options. The left side is for the addition palette where you can change the rhythm value of the notes in your score. It's in that addition palette that you can also add information as to how to play these notes. On the bottom, we have the global view, which gives you a quick access to all the different tracks of your score. You can also navigate through the different sections. Just click on one and you'll be taken to that section right away. And on the right side, we have the inspector. The inspector is made of two main tabs, the track tab, and the song tab. It's in the song tab that we can enter the name of the project, the artist, the musical notation used, the style sheet, sound mastering options. And then if we switch to the track tab, we can enter the name of the track, the musical notation, the tuning, the sounds. These different panels can be hidden by clicking on these top left options. This one will hide the addition palette. This one will hide the global view and this one will hide the inspector. Now let me show you how we can change the appearance of this electric guitar track. I'm gonna activate the inspector, and under the musical notation, we can see three different types of notations. The first one is for tablature notation, the second is for standard notation, and the third is for slash notation. As of now, we have two types of notations active, the tablature and the standard notation, as you can see here on the track. Let's disable the standard notation. Now only the tabs appear on our score. Now let's try the slash notation. This slash notation is very useful if you're working with strummed chords and you don't want to clutter your space by showing the tabs. The chords will appear on top and just follow the rhythm. Now here's another very useful feature that keyboard players will appreciate. Let's activate the standard notation on this track. So we can change this single staff to a grand staff by clicking on this option right here. This will bring up the split staff option. We're gonna keep this as a standard division on the C3. And here's our grand staff. The bass is now separated from the treble. So you can really dive into these options and make your project look exactly the way you want. Another great way to change the appearance of your score is in the design mode, which is found in the view option design mode. You can also access this design mode in the addition palette by clicking on this icon right here. This will allow you to resize each of the bars of your score. You can also add or remove bars on each systems. And if you kind of mess up and are not sure what you're doing, just click on this button to automatically resize. All right, let me show you one of my favorite features of Guitar Pro 7.5. This will change the appearance of your score and it will also make it way easier to learn new material. We're gonna go into the view option and here I can decide to show a fretboard or a keyboard. These views are fully resizable. I can place them wherever I want on my score. And if I navigate through my piece, I'm gonna see in real time what is happening on the guitar fretboard and the keyboard. And this is a great way to visually see directly on an instrument you're comfortable with what is going on in your project. Now, for pieces that are long and complex like this one, we can activate the global view. This will give you uh, an overview of everything that is going on. This will list the different sections of your song. The grid shows you all the bars of your song. So if I wanna go to the first bar of this guitar solo and I wanna see what is going on with the organ, I'm gonna click on this and here it is. Here's a quick tip that also happens in the global view. The global view is a multi-track view that shows you everything going on in your score. You can switch to a multi-track view by clicking on this button right here. Now everything that is going on per track is going to appear in your main score. In this example, here are the active tracks. The great thing is that you have control on which tracks are going to appear here. If you don't want a vocal to appear, just hide it. Click on this button, now the vocal disappeared. You don't want the drums, hide it. This gives you full control on the appearance of your score. Now let's talk a little bit about the different view options. Right now, we're using a vertical view, which shows you all the different pages of your project vertically. We can change that by going into the view menu. We can decide to show the pages horizontally, or maybe we prefer a grid of all the pages, 
Or maybe you prefer parchment view, which won't show the separation of the different pages. And if you really wanna see what's going on, select the screen view, vertical or horizontal. You also have access to different zoom options. You can also use this slider if you'd like. And if you're using a tactile surface on a laptop, for example, you can use that too. The playhead can be changed in the preferences. Right now it's set to smooth, but we can also decide to set it to each note or even the metronome. And of course, once you're done setting up all these different options, you can save those as a template. That way, next time you start a new project, start it from the templates you just created. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something new. And if you have not yet discovered Guitar Pro 7.5, you should. There's a free demo available on the website. Thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you in the next video.